Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Um, we're going to jump right into it. I know everybody's waiting on the drawing. Uh, in the chapel, for as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. Proverbs 23, 7. So I'm just trying to be confident in all that I do. I've got that new job and oh my God. No, it's not bad. So, all right. Totally hooked. I have tried to work on things to get them done um, and off the hooks. So I only have one thing that's totally hooked. I have this right here. If you remember, this is a little shrug. Okay. And it just wraps around, you know. And then I made this to go with it to either do your hair or a choker type, um, what do you think, uh, scarf, anything like that. I just put it with it so that it would have an accessory. Um, everybody knows us girls love accessories. I'm teasing. I, <laughs> but anyway, so this one is totally done, totally um, put up. I don't know if you can see the glitter in that in this room. Let's see if it'll. But it actually has. Oh, there we go. It has. Let it focus. Let me try a piece of paper. It has glittery. Um, there we go. It has some glittery glitz, I guess you'd say. Dazzle, whatever. So it's a little bit dressier. And so that one is totally off the hook. Done. We put in the tote and put away. Yay! Small feet. I know. So there's that one. Then I have been working on, because that's the only thing I have for totally hooked. Believe it or not, that's the only one I've gotten totally done. Um, I did start my new job, so that's, you know, taking up a lot of my time. All right. Let me... Okay, we'll go back to this one. So, I did, um, and you're going to laugh again because I should have been further on this. So, I had all these, and this is why I normally only work on one thing at a time. Um, this is the Geo, okay? I'm trying not to pull out any more stitches. Okay, this is a geo, and as you can tell, I've gotten about one, two, three, four, five more rows done, okay? And again, I'm not really liking how this starts in the center of that loop. Do you see that? That is actually the beginning of the row, is right there in the center of that loop. And it, it'll block out fine, but it makes it this cattywampus shape. Um yeah so I did a stupid thing so I actually worked one night on this pretty pretty solid okay and let me see if you can see this yarn in here with this light not really it's kind of drizzle outside it's not providing me with extra light today and see that first time it was um there we go let me there we go and it's kind of a pinks and blues and i need to just leave a piece of white paper here you know just a blank sheet let me see here okay so that we can get color there we go that's probably the closest color i've gotten So, okay, <laughs> the reason that I normally work on only one project at a time. So, I had been working on that little blue scarf, and I had been working on my kit. And I decided I was going to get further on this little guy right here. Oh, excuse me. I decided I was going to get further on this little guy. So, and by the way, they both mirror each, each other. We're the same spot on each one. Um, 
so I grabbed this one and without even thinking I grabbed my hook and I went on I did four rounds on both squares before I figured out I grabbed the hook for that other one because it, it was really cattywampus and I was like but I got this to lay the way I wanted to and it smoothed out and I was like this is not something's not right and then I went back to the bag and I had the wrong hook and it was a bigger hook so I had to rip out four rounds of both because I'd already done both yeah so that was a whole night of crocheting wasted on my part because I didn't use the right hook so yeah that's n one of the reasons why I don't um, always have a ton of projects around and I have decided since I happened I'm like I'm getting all this stuff off um, I will have no more I, I've got to decide on a, a limit like have no more than two or three because I have right now one two three four five I had six yeah so I need to cut it down and make sure that I get it down to something manageable okay and I'm counting one of those it isn't even on the hook yet but it's in my mind and so okay so I finished the blue one and I worked on that one and then this one is my kit and it looks really good um again some colors with the one yarn that neuro it has pulled apart several times in weaving in the end in crocheting with it it just pulls apart and I, I'm just not ha I'm gonna finish it I'm gonna finish it but I'm not this yarn is is not on my top list um, it has pulled apart several times in the middle of me crocheting this um, in the middle of me do it, it it just is not it's not spun right okay that's all I'm gonna say is that it's a single ply and if it had been spun just like this and then had something double plied over it even a piece of thread it would have been a whole lot better just saying it it's horrible because it just pulls apart for no reason and I'm not a rough crocheter like I said at one point I was just weaving in an end and the whole end pulled apart yeah so I hope I got enough of it woven in that it doesn't unravel so uh yeah that one kind of concerns me but it is working up beautifully I would say that if I was going to do this again I just would use a different yarn because the pattern is really pretty and it works up really beautiful so you've got the three rows of the one I don't like and then five rows of the one I do like and I started to weave in I've got one little end right here I started to weave in most of my ends because it got to be too many ends because you have one at every color change let's see if I can do this but it really is cute um, there's browns and creams and and grays in this so and this one right here that I tried to show you this dark part right here is actually like an olive colored green this part right here so it's not a it, it is a bad yarn it, it's not bad in color I, I love it in color but I don't love the yarn because guys when I'm gonna put out something with my name on it I don't want it falling apart and I don't I don't want it looking bad first off and second off if it's gonna fall apart I don't want it on my, my name on it um, this is not something that I am ever going to um, give away unfortunately I just won't um, it's 
Because what if it was to fall apart? You know what I mean? Um, it, say I gave it to my boss and it fell apart. What would that say about my workmanship, my craftsmanship, my diligence? You know, I will never, ever give this one away. And it's not the pattern, it's the yarn. Okay, and I keep in mind, I'm being upfront and honest with you. I'm giving one of these away because they made a mistake. But it's up to you what you do with it. You do not have to make the kit. You do not have to, you can separate the yarns. You can take it out and make something totally different. You could put some more spin on that one yarn. It, it's up to you, okay? But I'm telling you, it's not a product I would put my name on. So, um, do with it what you will with the information I've given you, please. Because that's, I just, I don't know. I'm real picky, okay? And I don't want my name on that with it, you know. Also, I was straightening up. <laughs> and here's another one that I'm going to get off the hook. The infinity scarf that goes with that poncho. <laughs> it's getting there. It is not long enough yet. Um, yeah, it's not quite there yet. I've got just a few more rounds to go and yeah it's not off the hook yet either so i will be finishing this one up um my right hook is in here and yeah i will get that one off i want to get this one off this week and get it out of there um and get it put with that poncho so uh yeah it is what it is and then, <laughs> and then, yeah, that scarf just messed up on my hair. I'm going to the farm later today, so, yeah. And then, I also found my kit, and I have the headband done, and I have half, part of the hat started. This is, like, the second kit that they sent me, and I don't know, it got set aside, and I had all these others that I was working on. So, yeah, this one. Let me see here. I have the hat band done. Except I don't have my ends woven in, okay? So, don't. But I have the hat band, the headband done. And then for. Have my hook in here. <laughs> and I have the hat. It's done from the bottom up and I am right here about to pull out a stitch and there we go and believe it or not this hat is made with a stitch almost identical to those baby blankets I just finished yep so yeah I will be Finishing up this hat. <laughs> and I think there's mittens too. Yeah. Um, the hat, mitt, and headbands. So I just have the mitt and the hat. The mittens to do and the hat to finish up. And I will have that one done. Uh, I am going to work on it and try and get it done. Like I said, I just... I guess they got set aside because I had so many they wouldn't fit in my basket. So I was working on the ones that were in the basket and hmm, they just got stuck by the wayside. So my plan is to get this one and this one out of here this week, which this is the kit and this is the infinity scarf. So if I get those two done this week, um, I will be a little bit more under control um, because then I've just got the geo that I'm working on, the mitt and the hat, uh, the mitt and the hats, and then um, I also have. Okay, so I got in my Tunisia. I don't know if I told you this or if I got them in right after, but I had lost my set of Tunisian crochet hooks. And I'm not a fancy crocheter. I actually prefer bamboo. And these hooks right here, I pick them up. They're from Japan or Taiwan or someplace. 
and they're super, super easy. Um, they don't grip. They don't, you know, there's no, um, they're just not real fancy hooks, but they slide. Um, and if you feel anything like on them, you just hit them with sandpaper. Does that make sense? And then this is just shrinked onto the end. And so some of these will come off. They're, they're not expensive made hooks, but they're my favorite Tunisian hook. I have no idea why I prefer the bamboo. It does. And this um, piping or tubing or whatever. And they have little stoppers on the ends. Okay. Um, they're just super easy to work with. So I got these in because I can't find my other set. Now I just got to find something to keep them in because keeping them like this drives me crazy um so it's for this one uh i have not found a pattern yet um i had dang it i forgot to bring it in here okay so my grandmother gave me a book a long time ago and i'm gonna run go get it because i want to show you hold on Okay, sorry about that. So, my grandmother gave me this book right here many moon ago. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's still in, uh, what do you call it, um, production. And it's all done with thread crochet. But you could do it, um, I'm looking for a good, I, I wanted a good, clear picture to show you here. Let's, some of them are, you know, the photography of crochet was harder. Let me see. This one might work. Okay. Do you see it? Photography was back then. It, it just wasn't what it was, what it is today. And so there's edgings and trims. There's all different kinds of motifs and so that you can put patterns together yourself okay so you can make any of these motifs you can do there, there's different sections of the book okay it's got uh let's see single crochet double crochet treble crochet V stitch and shells, relief stitch, puff stitch, popcorn, cluster, dropped stitches, X stitch, wrap around stitch, Y stitch, motifs, edging, and trim. It's a dog. Um, there's four ways to join crochet items, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's got the basic of the stitches in the front. That's not what I use it for. I use it for this kind of stuff um but basically i can design using this book i can design anything that i really want um and give it a look of what i really want and these are all done with thread so when you do them um you can do them with worsted you can do them with you know just about anything but they can they have very complicated motifs in there if you want to do um, this pattern over here I've used. That's why it keeps opening to this. Um, this one, I tried it for something and I didn't like the way it laid. And I think it's because I had more of a worsted weight yarn. Um, this one looks uh, amazing. When you do it with a worsted weight yarn, it's very textured. It's awesome. Anyway, so I have used several of these and done some things and, you know, and it, the thing is, is it's always got a chart with it too. I'm not showing you the chart, but it's got, I'll show you here. Okay. So this one has, is the thing. This is the chart and over here is the pattern. Then we go on to this one and then when we turn the page, there's the chart and over here is the pattern. So every one of them has it written, has the chart and has a little model of it. And I've been looking through this book to figure out what I want to do 
for that sweater for that green and gray yarn. So, just saying. Um, I haven't gotten very far with that. Uh, I still have just my drawing. I don't know how I'm going to do the sleeves yet. So, yeah. Um, and I think I am going to seam it up the front. And we'll go from there. Um, I may have to spin some more yarn. Just saying. So, I don't know. And I do plan on doing it Tunisian. So, just remember any of the stitches that are in that book, you can do in Tunisian. These, these can be converted to Tunisian too. Okay, just saying. Um, yeah, you can do all these stitches and, and patterns with Tunisian. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but that is where I'm at on that one. Okay, and yes, I think we have just now gotten to in the basket. Done within the basket. Um, on the wheel, I absolutely have nothing because I started to spin something. I was like, ooh, I'm going to go get some fiber. And then I was like, no. You guys, if you could see this big pile of these six or seven projects, no. Until these are done, I'm not spinning anything. And therefore, if I haven't spun anything, I don't have anything to put in the dye pods. Okay. Um, in the fields, I did go back and replant my stuff. And then the weather decided to um, give me some havoc. And the watermelon plants and all the plants that had survived that were just little things. Yeah, even in that greenhouse, we got snow the other day. So, I'm starting all over again. <laughs> My other little seeds hadn't come up yet. They were wet. I'm hoping that they didn't freeze the seeds. and that, Or if they did, that it's not enough to kill the seed out. Just saying. I, I have no clue. No clue what's going to go on with that. So, yeah. All right. I think that's all I have for In the Fields. Next up is RJ's World. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. <laughs> We're doing kind of a little throwback thing today um, for our RJ's World segment. RJ, what's been going on in your world? We brought cattle up to my place, right? Yep. And there's five of them. Their names are Doris, Fred, Fred Fuzzy, mm -hmm. BB, BB, and, and Crip. And they're all you eating really me. well. They're um, the only one he had kind of like a dry cough, but I think it's the wind, and that's Fozzie. He's the rangy, fuzzy, fuzzy one. But he only did it one time, and so I'm waiting to see if it was just the wind or what. So, all right. You've been training horses and roping? Yep. How's that been going? Decent. Decent? No? Uh, I've <laughs> got five or six outside horses. I've got six or seven of my own. Okay. Ride every day. And, then... and, that, and those outside horses are monthly income for you, correct? Yep. Awesome. So, all right. And what are you here today to do? Uh, Why are we doing a throwback? Draw a name out of a hat. Well, out of a bag. Okay, so RJ is making a cameo appearance to draw for our Who little wants thing. To win? That's Send right. Me 20 bucks, I'll draw your name. No, you won't. Okay, so everybody that entered that put their favorite um, job. I don't like that. It, what? I don't like that. One. They're all folded up. You can't even read them. Well, they don't have to know that. You gave away. He's not reading them, guys. All right. Yeah, she really Shake, did fold them up where I could. I did fold them up so he like, can't I thought I'd see. be funny and see, like, if I knew any of these people. And then, like, hey, your name was in the hat. And I no. didn't pull you. But I. Okay, ready? Pull one out. Go to the bottom. The best people always get stuck to the bottom. The best people get stuck to the bottom? Yeah. Okay, so. Well, I got one, one. Now, let's. You got more than one? Drop yeah. one back in. Okay. Got right. one. All right, unfold it. Karen Ulibarri? She can't read her own handwriting. Well, Anything? I don't know that. Willibarri? I'll look it up on the thing. So if you know you're Karen, 
that entered on the last one. And your last name starts with a W. There That's you all go. We got. Karen, Karen w. w is the winner of that. And you will need to contact me. I'll put an email address at the bottom in the detail comments, and you can email me, and I will get this in the mail to you. Call anything. Send so, us a smoke signal. We send, send us smoke a smoke signal. <laughs> no, we yep. don't. Because I wouldn't know where to send it with a smoke signal. I can't read them. Well, so, we did a crochet you giveaway. Learn. <laughs> I should learn. How about cell phone? Um, See, I said that, and you said no. You said email. But just said email me. Signal. So, that's what we yeah. got to Okay. Anyway, oh, our day. What's up next? Postcard too. What, what, postcards are hey, cool. what are you doing next? You're going to do another giveaway, right? Oh, You're going to announce it oh, for me, right? I should really pay attention when she tells me what I'm doing. <laughs> so we did the crochet one. We are doing the knitting one next. <laughs> it's the Knitter's Pride. All right, so they don't really know what oh, it is. Close. Um, so it's Knitter's Pride. It's got three. It's interchangeable. Um, it's got two cables, four stops, and three sets of needles. And RJ, what size needles are those? I can't read. Right here. Read off the contents of the package. So, we really should do reams. US six. A six. A seven. Uh, right. Cubicus. I see. Seven, Navaka, US eight, a cords, six, seven, and eight, two cables, and four stops. inches and 40 inches. Okay. And then we have accessories. I know what that word is. Okay, quit reading so four funny. Nobody can understand you. And two cord keys. Yes, and it does have the cord keys with it. So, getting the Knitter's Pride experience. So, we're giving away these Knitter's Pride needles. Okay. You'll Interchangeable. It's the knitter. Some pride. are metal and some are wood. I, I don't really know if they're real wood, but they look like wood. But these two I know are metal. And these are different sizes. I think they're wood. I don't know. Don't know. Not really a knitter. Yes, sir. There's one way to find out. I have a lighter. No, we're not gonna burn them and find out. Oh. Anyway, this is what's up next. So how are they gonna enter? We only take comments on this video make it easier for me we do and what is our comments going to be about how will they like my hat no it Why needs not? to be something that they can actually put about them i'm trying to learn about them so if they like that <laughs> okay what's your favorite kind of hat and how often you wear it how often you wear it. There you go. So if it's a baseball cap, cowboy hat. Feel free to post pictures. Bag hat. I don't know if you can post pictures at YouTube. But we can try. If they can post a picture, shoot, I'll put them in there. We don't care. So what's your favorite kind of hat? And how often do you wear it? She took my hat. Yes, I did. Because it's my bag. It's where I'm putting all my stuff. All right, we got to get off of here and quit fussing around. Because I'm actually here to do some work on the farm. And you have some horses to ride. And yeah, what is your catch line? I haven't used the catch line in all of them. Back to work. Which one? The back to work. Oh, I gotta get back to work. Yeah, we gotta get back to work. Talk to you later. Okay, so I guess you liked RJ's world. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to have him do the drawing. So, yep. As for me and in the farmhouse, well, the new job is taking up a lot of my time. I'm trying to get this stuff done. Um, I did get another room, two rooms in the house cleaned up. So the back storage room off the den, we had thrown a lot of stuff in there. We had the extra fridge in there. Um, we had the wood for the wood burning stove in there we had hitch's kennel in there and the chairs that were always in my bedroom are now actually back there we cleaned that out a little bit we tossed two tvs that were back there that didn't work um then in here i had the paperwork that was on this thing and that we were doing and and just trying to get stuff put where it went. I had boxes up here 
and paperwork up here and I don't know what all I had up there but it's all done and gone well that's, that's not true I have a few other things up here I've got some things I got to deal with but it is not half of what it was so it's all cleared off and, and there's an empty box up there there's my fishing line that I need to re-spool some fishing line um, there is a Christmas gift that roommate was given um, it's a backup camera for a truck yeah we need all the help we can get anyway so there's that stuff over there um, but other than that we did get that cleaned out the this office part cleaned out and then we got um, that back room cleaned out somewhat um, and got it straightened up so yeah those blue chairs are out of my room I'm good with that I, I don't have to keep moving them to open the closet <laughs> So, yeah, it's getting there. It is getting there. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys off of here. I love that you guys are entering these drawings, and it's great to see you guys back. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And don't forget to enter below for the needles. Okay, so I know that this is not crochet, but we wanted to include some knitting people because... I am a firm believer that if you can do it with crochet, you can do it with knit. If you can do it with knit, you can do it with crochet. And I hate knitting. And so any pattern can be converted. And I see a lot of things that I love knitted. And I'll crochet them. Especially with Tunisian. It'll even look crochet knitted. So, um, yeah, we want you guys. I'm not exclusively crochet. I prefer crochet because I'm better at it. Me and two pointy things are not a good thing. So, get your entries in, and we will draw for this one. Again, two weeks, okay? So, whatever I, day I post this, two weeks, the, the next, not the next video, but the following video, it'll be on there, okay? So, always two weeks, and then, I don't know where we're going to go from there, but we are gonna, we're going to do the knitting one next. Maybe we'll do a spinning one. Oh, I could give fiber away. I'll think on it. See y'all later. Thanks for watching.